Hey guys, got the uh, molds finally done. And uh, just to show you what we were doing here, I made some uh, clay lips, modeled them, cast them in this uh, latex rubber form. Okay, and here's the clay eye form. They par parted nicely, everything worked out good there. And then what I'm going to do here is to show you uh, the casting technique. There's really nothing much to it. First thing I want to do is make sure that the then I've got these sprayed with some release. I don't want to uh, ruin my latex work. Can't use uh, certain sorts of compounds on latex, but this stuff's fine. And I don't know how well this first one's going to come out, but we'll just give it a shot. And if it works, then we've got a nice mold I can use repeatedly. We're not going to fill these all the way, so we don't really need a whole lot. I'm estimating about maybe four caps each of the polycast material here. And uh, what I'm going to do is use this little baby food jar here. I'll use a piece of cardboard just so that we don't have any issues, stuff happening. And I'll dump four caps of this in. So I don't have a nice graduated measuring thing to use, so I'll just be using caps, which I think works just fine. As long as you don't make a big mess. I'm thinking maybe two capfuls would do an eye, maybe three capfuls would do a lip, so we'll do four just so I don't have too little. I'd rather have too much. Okay. And there's the. Now you can do this in a much more precise manner if you had nice measuring cylinders, measuring cups, disposable cups, and stuff. But for what this little test is, this will be fine. And later I'll wipe up the caps and the bottles and stuff because they will become a sticky mess. But if you don't. Yeah. Dump in the hardener. Okay, it's equal parts, so we'll dump in four of these. It's probably the messiest way to do this, but you know. <laughs> and I'm probably making about twice as much as I really need. But still, the idea is just to get it done and try it out and see how it works. Okay, I'm going to set these bottles aside because I need to clean them and stuff. I don't have time for that right this second. Okay, you got to mix this for a full two minutes, okay? Which, uh, you guys are not going to watch me mixing this for a full two minutes, okay? So I'm going to come back in two minutes and I'll just show you pouring it. Which is not that exciting, trust me. You're just pouring it. It's good to get your uh, amounts exactly the same. If they're not, this is just a test. I don't really care. As long as it hardens, I can pop it out. I don't really care. And once I see what it looks like, if it's really worth the effort, I may dye uh, the lips red and the eyes blue and do uh, some different stuff like that just to see what those effects are like. But anyway, you've got to mix it really thoroughly. So go for a full two minutes of mixing. Don't scrimp. Do it, man. And then pour it in there. See, I'm making a big mess. This kind of stuff stains into wood and stuff pretty good, so I like to use scraps of cardboard when I'm doing this kind of stuff so I don't mess up anything. You can also do it on plastic. And it's been about a minute and it's starting to get clear. I think we might just cheat. We might just cheat, not do the full mix. You know? I just want to do a test. I don't care.
that much. This is just to look see. So we're not holding it to my usual professional standards. But now let's slide on up here and you can watch how this goes in. I just want to pour enough of the eye to get the open part of the eye. I don't need the whole eye. I just need part of it. Alright, let's go take a look at the lips. Now these are a little different because it's got to go around that plug in the center, so I'll have to do both sides to really get it. Looks like I made just enough. And what I want to do is I want to come right up to the edge of it, but not past it. Not past it, because I want to make it easy to pop out. It won't be easy to pop out if I go too high. It looks like I can go just a little bit further. And when I get done with all this, what I'm going to do is clean it up really good so I don't have goop all over my latex. Plus, when it hardens, it's like a flexible plastic film. Let me get my hands clean real here before I touch the camera. But anyway, I was going to keep this short, but what the heck. You're in it now. So what I'm going to do is just let these puppies sit. And uh, I'm going to put just a little bit more in the eyeball. And these take 72 hours to cure. So basically three days. So you want to keep them someplace where little insects or whatever, or dust or whatever, won't fall into the <laughs> stuff. That would be kind of annoying, you know. I'll just top this off a little more since we got plenty. And what I'm going to do is, is after I pop these out, the flat part, the back part here, I'm going to sand it. The idea being to be able to stick it on as an application to a part of the case. So that will help do that. And if these work, what I'm thinking in the future ones is to maybe put some LEDs in them so they can also illuminate. So that would be kind of cool. So there you have it. That's really all there is to this casting stuff. At this point, it's just a waiting game. There's nothing real technical to popping them out of the... You just flex the mold and pop them out. And uh, that's the nice thing about the latex is that you can go semi-round shapes and like these lips and trap the curves and stuff and then just pop the whole thing out. So you're not going to see much on this for uh, until Monday. I'm just going to set this aside in a nice dust-free environment and uh, we'll get back to the inappropriate content mod on the Cosmos 1000 with the Lamptron sponsorship for Overclock.net. This is CyberDruid signing out.